Um, this is the leggings uh, marker. So you have a left and a right. So you only need two pieces of the leggings. As you can see, I wrote center back, center front, center front and center back. So you know that you've actually got a pair. These leggings only have an inside seam. They don't have a side seam. Um, so the fabric is lycra. You need to prepare exactly like the t-shirt. You need to do a marker, place the marker, pin it down to the fabric, which prevents it from moving because lycra is, it's a four way stretch fabric and it does move quite a lot. So you're not just going to use a cardboard pattern and actually place it on top of the fabric because it's going to move and it becomes quite slippery. So with the leggings um, marker, you only need a left and a right, which is an actual pair. Okay, so these are the leggings. So once you've cut it, um, as you can see, this the deep, um, at, at, that is the centre back. And what I've actually done, I'm going to hem these first before we overlock um, the inside leg and also the crutch. So I've pinned them up two centimetres on either end and we're going to go to the twin needle flat lock machine. So this is what you need to have when you cut a pair of leggings, a left and a right. Um, okay, so now we're going to um, take the hem. So it is two centimetres on your pattern. That's the um, wrong side of your legging. Going to place exactly the same, the needle in between the um, between this uh, hem. So place that. So you can do this before as what I'm doing now, or you can do it at the end um, once you've finished overlocking the seam edges. There's no right or wrong uh, method. Keep going. All the way to the end, heel back. So that's the inside of your leg. So that's going to be your hem. So what you do on the one, you do on the other because they're a pair. And you can press lycra. A lot of people don't think you can, but you can. Steam it. Which I did, I pressed my hem for two centimetres. As you can see, I'm not stretching, I'm just feeding that through. Um, so don't pull your fabric because it does alter, uh, especially with um, especially with lycra, it's a four-way stretch. So now that you've done those both hems, now we're going to do the inside leg and overlock them together. Um, okay, so as you can see, I've already pinned one um, inside of the leg. So what you need to do is right sides together. Start from top of the where the crutch is. You're going to overlock these um, seams together. There is a notch down to where your knee is. That fits in there. And also then that's the hem, complete hem that you finish. You're going to line them together so they match. In there, nice and flat. We're going to overlock. Um, same as I've mentioned with the t-shirt, those of you who do not have an overlocker, um, you can straight stitch and then zigzag. Um, this is lycra. So with this fabric, it's, as I mentioned, it is a four-way stretch, stretches in all angles and it does become quite slippery when you're feeding it through a overlocker. So nice and slow. So it's about eight mils, seven, eight mils of seam allowance. Tuck it in there, right sides together. And all I'm doing is I'm feeding it through, not stretching it. This is a beautiful um, lycra. It is recyclable lycra. I think it's made of fishnet, from fishnets. That's it. All the way through. Make sure you hold on to the, where the hem is so they match and they're even. Take away the pin. Nice and slow. Cut that off. Trim that threads off. So that's going to perfectly in there. Now you do the other, um, the other leg. Make sure your garment is um, on the 
on the flatbed side so you don't cut off your garment. Feed that. So make sure you do use both hands, one to guide it through. Becomes easier. Same process, hold that down, make sure they're matching all the way down. Cut the, the thread off. Oops. Okay, so we've done both. If I put them together, so it gives you a better idea. This is your inside leg of a pair of le leggings. Okay, so the next step, what we're going to do, I'm going to pin right sides together and we're going to do the crutch. Okay, so what you need to do, right sides together, this is um, the crutch seam. Make sure your inside legs are matching. Place a pin up the top and then we're going to pin all this in place. This is all going to be overlocked, all in one sequence. So you grab to the other side. Always start from the centre, from the top and then in the middle. So your seams don't stretch, that fits beautifully in there. Okay, so now we're going to overlock, overlock the crutch seam from back to front. Right there. Feeding that through, don't stretch it. It's your inside arm um, seam. Keep going. Same, hold on to the end. Make sure that they match up the top. Keep going. And once that is your crutch, your crutch seam. So what I'm actually going to do now is I'm going to overlock around the top of um, the waist. We're going to apply elastic casing in the top of the lycra leggings. I'm going to show you, um, there is two different types of methods, but the method that I'm going to show you is we're going to overlock the um, top, um, place that down for about two centimetres and I'm going to pin stitch that around with the straight sewer with a ballpoint needle and I'm going to show you how to insert the elastic um, around the waist. So first of all, let me just overlock the top of the leggings. So this technique that I'm showing you is just the in, um, encasing. There is um, also the other method where you can apply the elastic as I'm overlocking in this process as well. You're still going to get the same um, achievement at the end. Keep going all the way, right around. Trim off that excess, always loose threads. I'm going to take that to take that to the iron and actually fold that for two centimeters. Give that a good press, and then I'm going to show you how to actually pin stitch that um, and leave an opening for your elastic. Okay, so I've actually taken this is the hem. I mean, sorry, the waist. So it's 2.5, give it a bit of a press. And now this is the center back. So I like to um, have the finishing seam because we're gonna insert the elastic around the waist. I'm gonna start about here in the center of that overlocking. And I'm gonna stop around um, just um, in front of that pin. So just with a straight stitch, ballpoint needle, 
hold that I'm going to stitch in the center and I'm just holding that quite taut in there so making sure that your stitch doesn't break so hold that nice and flat all the way around so you can see if you're um, just by pulling pulling that to see whether it is um, breaking so that's fine it's not breaking so the tension's okay so hold that nice and firm Cut off your threads and I'm just going to stop about here because I'm going to leave a bit of an opening, a um, bit of an opening in here because we're going to insert the elastic. So that's the front of your legging. So if you give that a bit of a nudge, so that shouldn't be breaking. Um, now with the elastic, that's about two centimeters. I've cut it about 68. Okay. Um, okay, so now that we've stitched the, um, the round the waist, um, grab your sa a safety pin and you're going to insert um, and attach it to the elastic so you don't lose it. So I'm going to feed the elastic. It's a two centimetre elastic, the width that is. So all the way through. Try not to twist it and also not lose it. So this is a technique. Um, you're going to get the same outcome if you were going to actually stitch your elastic at the same time overlocking around the waist. Um, then you can twin needle or cover stitch the waist. So there's, uh, there are different ways and different methods. So this is showing you that you can do this at home with your domestic machine. So pull that through. Try not to twist it. That's uh, important. So I'm pushing the safety pin through, pulling the elastic, keep going. I find that you have more control if you do it this method. All the way around. Try to push that out. See how it's getting smaller on this end just make sure that it's flat keep going pulling that through so that's flat that's flat on that side keep going until the opening and you pop that through so you grab that side of the elastic so there they are join them together try not to lose them and what I'm going to do is just overlap them about two centimeters. Just do a, um, a square around there, just a straight stitch at the machine. Make sure you back tack. But do secure the um, elastic. You do not want to let that um, be lost into your garment. So I'm doing like a little bit of a square around. back tucking making it just a little bit more secure so once you've done that hopefully you haven't twisted your elastic space it it's got to go in there hold on in there and then what we're going to do so make sure the elastic so that's nice and firm and the, where we've got the opening I'm just going to close from where we start um, started and finished in there so you hold on to that I know it's black on black I'll just draw that and I'm going to stitch basically in the center of that overlocking holding it a little bit firm feed that through 
you've enclosed the legging and so oops and what you can also do to prevent the um, the elastic rolling over because it is very it is lycra you can actually dit stitch in the center um, right there so it prevents the elastic from rolling and the same in there so you just got to lay that nice and flat um, place it in the center so I can just show you that technique as well so you can just secure the actual elastic in the waist basically stitching into the seam or groove the same at the back Oops. and I'll just place the center of the needle in the center of the seam And you have your pair of leggings. Okay, so I'm just going to pop that up on the um, full body mannequin and so you can get a clear view. <laughs>